A day after Christmas, the call comes in. Two children fall through some thin ice. They are in as middle of this pine as you could get. McGuanago police officer Chet Wilson was the first responder on scene. So I assessed the situation. I realized that this is not one of those situations where you can wait for the right gear. Uh, the children are in the water screaming uh, that they couldn't swim and that they were losing grip. After learning the fire department was on the way, he went in. I stripped off my duty belt, my uniform, shirt, and my body armor down to my undershirt and made my way into the ice. With the help of a neighbor, they fashioned a lasso out of an extension cord and tried to pull the kids in. Several attempts were made to throw this loop out to them, but we couldn't get the extension cord to have enough weight to get to them. It wasn't working, and the kids were starting to slip under the water. That's when Officer Wilson started fighting the ice to bring them in by hand. Knew I just have to keep boosting it up, break it away, boost it up, break it away. As they make contact with the kids, the fire department arrives and helps drag them to shore. The children are exhausted and experiencing signs of hypothermia. When we were in the ambulance warming up, they, it was as if they were both having seizures. It was, they were shaking so much and they kept apologizing for shaking and not being able to talk. Officer Wilson says the kids, at last check, are doing just fine. And if faced with this situation again... It's not in our DNA to just like watch children drown. You just you have to do it. In McGuanago, Evan Peterson, Fox 6 News.